officially invited to the swearing-in of Super President for Life, Keith David, today at the Federal Building. My fellow Americans, I know firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Keith. And I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look where that led us. So what, you're putting your faith in Zinyak? Giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You don't get it. Zinyak said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is kill you. He's lying to you. Maybe. But there's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right. <laughs>